It's been a while since my last spectral correction video. This week I'll profile a brand new resonance suppressor from the people at Mastering the Mix called Rezo, and they're the makers of innovative plugins like Bassroom and Expose. The spectral correction market is really heating up, so let's check this out. But first, please like and subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. My goal is to hit 2,000 subscribers this month. If you want to support the channel, head over to ADSR with my affiliate link and pick up some of the great audio plugins there. And sign up for my newsletter to get free samples and info on my upcoming mini course on getting separation in your mix at paleboo.ca. All right, so I have a project here where I know there are some strong resonance issues happening. I previously dealt with this by slapping TDR Nova on the track. Let's see how Rezo can help out. So when I play back this track, I'm hearing a telltale whistling sound. A static, annoying frequency in the crucial mid-range area. It's things like this that can completely mess up a mix, and you get the car stereo effect, where your mix doesn't translate well because you haven't taken care of fundamental issues like resonances and masking. So normally, I would sweep around with an EQ or dynamic EQ and find the whistle and then make a cut. Let's see if Rezo can help. So we're greeted with a pretty simple GUI here. Spectrum Analyzer and some icons up top. Rezo is designed to be quick and easy, and here's what you do. You gotta hit Calculate Targets. And instantly, Rezo gives you suggestions for both the potential problem frequencies and the best gain reduction to achieve a transparent correction. Now, at first, I expected this to be more like Sooth2 or DSEQ, where the correction happens right away. But Rezo takes a different tack. The suggestions remain bypassed unless you enable them manually or even more easily just hit Engage Targets. And now the spectral correction is engaged and it's making cuts at the suggested filter targets. In a bypass. You can bypass by hitting uh, Targets Engaged here and that changes to engage targets. Huh. Right off the bat, I'll say this is a rather conservative sounding plugin compared to the others. Or perhaps it's more transparent. The suggestions look like pretty strong cuts because they're quite low down here, but it doesn't seem to be doing much in the reduction meter up top. However, if we look at the right, some of these cuts are pretty deep in terms of decibels. I mean, I assume this is a decibel scale. This looks like peak decibels. So this one here, around uh, 1K, is sometimes going as low as 10, 15 dB. It's kind of hard to tell with the way this is laid out. But to my ears, it's definitely more careful sounding than even Sooth 2. I think a difference is that Sooth2 and DSEQ have much more detailed control over the whole aspect of this. Well, at least at first sight. There are similar controls on this plugin here. You can use the EQ nodes to increase or decrease the amount of correction. And you can change the Q width of the filter by using your mouse to focus the filter more or make it really wide. i increase the gain here so we can see that. Probably the most isn't a very smooth control. It seems to go from zero to a hundred. I have to be very, very slow with my magic mouse while I do this or else it goes full width. Wouldn't mind seeing that a bit smoother. I mean, it's unclear to me at this point if there's any way to change the cue apart from using the mouse. Maybe this will be more clear when the manual is released. 
I find more than most of the other spectral resonance correction plugins I've used that even going for drastic cuts don't sound as dramatic or artifacty as most of the other plugins I've tried. This is probably a good sign, but I suspect first time users might be a little disappointed when they don't hear instant dramatic results right away, especially if you miss that you need to hit that enable all button after the initial scan. So you have to engage the targets to get the, the reduction happening. I'm not hearing enough correction of the guitar resonance that I want to get rid of, so I'm going to try to dial this in manually. It's going to delete all the nodes, so we have a blank slate again. And I know the resonance is around 3K, 3.2K. So if I hit Control, this turns into a sweep function. You can also do that by enabling the switch up here. Add a note here. Hmm. See, I've got this, I've dragged this down as far as I can go. So it's down at minus 80, but there's no way that's minus 80 of a threshold. This is a little confusing. I'm only seeing, you know, I guess it's about 10 dB of reduction. It's still kind of unclear to me, so. Get this back to around 3K. Solo that. Sounds like the right frequency. I'm going to try making it wider. Okay, that's more dramatic. See, it's hard to get the in-between. I leave it like that and let's raise this. If you hold down control, that uh, restricts horizontal movement so you can only adjust the gain reduction in that band. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Bypass. Oh yeah. There. Whistling gone. Yeah, that's cleaning it up nicely. Okay. So I can see why they give you suggested nodes. Then it's up to you to choose which to activate. Because many of the suggestions seem superfluous and can be ignored. Personally, I would have preferred that the suggested targets simply activate right after the scan, and then the user can choose which nodes to disable. Especially since it's so transparent and gentle. It'd be different if it was like Smart EQ that suggests a rather radical adjustment of your track. But since this plugin suggests not only EQ, but the levels of that EQ, then I'd like to hear its suggestion first and then adjust it by ear. But I think I understand their philosophy. Let's see how this guitar correction stands up to other tools I would normally reach for. So here's TDR Nova. I saw me dial this in earlier. Like I mentioned earlier, I just swept around 3K and then adjusted the threshold, which makes the EQ dynamic. And just lower the threshold until the resonance sounds better. And I think this sounds quite good. And it's quick and easy to do. This took all of like, what, five, 10 seconds? Bypass. Yeah, that fixes up nicely. Let's activate Rezo. Well, with my manual adjusted 
setting in Rezo, I'm getting pretty much the same result. What I'm not crazy about is the cramp controls. The solo, bypass, and remove buttons are all very small and close together. Now let's check everyone's favorite, Soothe 2. So the difference here is I can hear right away that Soothe 2 is already working to suppress the resonance. I'd like to hear a little more suppression, let's increase the depth until it sounds like too much. Right about there. Dial it back. Let's compare it. I have to say, Rezo clears this up a little better than Soothe 2 in this quick test. I can still hear a little of that 3K whistling when I activate Soothe 2. Good job, Rezo. And TDR Nova too, of course. Yeah, I'd say these are all pretty close. Rezo can get you there, but you definitely need to get in there and adjust things. To me, it seems like it may generate too many nodes, and many of them can be ignored. But it's very effective if you want to take the time to dial in the spectral correction yourself. What I like about Rezo is that you can open it up, hit a button, and you get suggested nodes instantly that you can then listen to and adjust to get what you want. It was easy enough to sweep and dial in the correction I wanted. However, I do feel like there are some user interface elements that are holding it back. First off, the aforementioned tight space for the node controls is a little hard to work with. Secondly, unless I'm missing it, I would have liked to have an internal bypass button. So what's my recommendation? Rezo is certainly worth checking out. The milder settings might work well for those looking for ultra-transparent, careful resonance reduction. And something to keep in mind, this is now at an introductory price of $79, and that's about a third of Soothe 2. So, much like DSEQ, this is a relatively affordable spectral resonance solution. Personally, I prefer DSEQ's interface and comprehensive controls, but definitely give Rezo a shot. It might be perfect for you. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and head over to my website, palebudot.ca, and sign up for my newsletter. Until next time, mix well.